Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com and Miss Melinda.com, here to bring you our new moon tarot forecast for the Taurus new moon happening Tuesday, May 11th at 1.01 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck for our tarot forecast. This reading is going to help us most successfully traverse the energies of this upcoming new moon in Taurus. I have used the Morgan Greer Tarot and I've pulled four cards to assist us with successfully traversing these energies. Our first card is the Ten of Cups. Our second card is the Two of Swords. The Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords tells me that we need to think about our boundaries in social situations. It seems that around this new moon in Taurus, we're going to very much be uh, having opportunities for socializing. Well, we will be feeling a lot of harmony with our friends and family. We'll have opportunities to congregate, opportunities to celebrate, opportunities to feel joyous about life, but we do need to consider our boundaries. So what can happen sometimes with all of these opportunities for socializing and togetherness is we may forget to keep a balance in our lives. We may overextend ourselves, give out too much energy to others or to groups or to social situations and neglect our own well-being, neglect our solitude or our quiet time, neglect our self-care. So when you start receiving those invitations, think about your boundaries, think about what's healthy for you, think about what's safe for you and safe for others. Maybe it's still a good time to avoid big gatherings. Um, perhaps it's a good time to make sure your gatherings are still outside. Think about that safety element. Um, also think about if these groups of people or if these occasions or if these events are something that you really should be exerting a lot of time and energy on, right? So this is going to be a good new moon to Think about your outer life versus your inner life. Think about the balance between those two areas and to um, assess whether or not you're putting your energy in the right places. You may wanna reserve some energy for some things that could be more important to you or could be more beneficial for you or could offer you more blessings, more rewards in the way of personal fulfillment or meaning or even in the way of emotional emotional connection or emotional intimacy. Perhaps you don't want to spend that time with people that you don't particularly feel close to or that you don't particularly have positive experiences with or that are just surface level connections or surface level friendships. This is a good time to think about that. Conversely, you may want to think about letting your guard down a little. So this is about balance. We will need to assess for ourselves um, what's going on with our boundaries. Are they healthy boundaries? Should they be stronger? Should they be um, lessened a little? Should we be letting new people into our lives? Are we closing ourselves off from new interactions, new meaning, new relationships? Um, are we closing ourselves off from that emotional intimacy that we crave. These things need to be assessed. Really think about where you're putting your energy when it comes time to decide what kinds of social engagements you're going to participate in. The next two cards, the last two cards are the Nine of Pentacles. One of my favorite cards in the Morgan Greer deck. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. And the last card is the Ace of of swords and i wanted to mention that my mystic members via patreon they do receive this new moon forecast one week in advance one week early if you would like to receive this new moon forecast one week early as well as a multitude of other benefits you can click the link below and see what i offer via patreon to my mystic members the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. This is indicative that we will have new beginnings in our financial life. New beginnings in our relationship to money, prosperity, abundance. Maybe even new beginnings in the way that we relate 
at a on a deep level, the way that we really relate on an interpersonal re level to our relationship with wealth, to our relationship with the energy of money, to our relationship with the energy of abundance, to our relationship with those material, sensual experiences such as clothing our bodies, um, adorning ourselves, um, expressing our beauty. This is about the sensuous side of life. When I'm talking about sensuality here, I'm talking about the senses. I'm talking about the five senses. This is going to be, this is very Taurus kind of energy. This is going to be a great time to indulge those senses. Maybe even create a beautiful space in your home. Um, maybe this is time to redecorate, rearrange, clean things up, make a space beautiful, and spend some time there really enjoying um, wonderful, luscious scents, enjoying um, rich, nutritious food, and having valuable experiences. What is valuable to you? This new beginning around this new moon is going to be a great time to assess what is truly valuable to you. Think about what you get the most fulfillment out of and think about how you can create those pleasurable and fulfilling uh, experiences for yourself. Maybe it's not so much about the big social gatherings. Maybe it's not so much about all of these people. Maybe it's more about the beauty and the conditions and the um, sensory experiences and the fulfillment that you can create for yourself and your loved ones right at home. This will be a great time for new beginnings in your love life. It'll be a great time for new beginnings in the way that you relate to your senses, that you relate to your sensuality, that you relate to your physical expression, and for new beginnings in the way you relate to your material world. So that is your money, your resources, um, your gardens, you know, all the things that bring you abundance and multitude and fulfillment and um, bring joy to your home, fill your home up with joy and, um, Plenty. It's very much a feeling of plenty. And I think that one of the things this new moon is pointing us towards is experimenting with that feeling of abundance and that feeling of plenty. I think one of the things that we're being guided to play with is that a feeling of abundance uh, is not always about money, right? Um, there are many ways we can create these essential experiences for ourselves. We can fill our houses with joy. We can feel plentiful. We can feel luxurious. Let's play with that this month. Happy new moon. Thanks for watching.